I'm Sam. And I'm Matthew. And we are... Brothers in Steam. And before you all notice, we are in a different setup because I'm actually around Matthew's house for once. Recording our... Another video. Ooh, I wonder what it's going to be. I think it is 6233 Duchess of Sutherland. Ooh. Ooh. I totally didn't know from the title or anything. No, entirely not. Right, let's get on with this rubbish. Um, rubbish? <laughs> It's an LMS engine, for God's sake. Well, actually, no, I like it. <coughs> right, shut up. Better than Q1. Tish. The London Midlands Scottish Railway Coronation Class is a 462 Pacific steam locomotive designed by William Stanier. They were designed for express passenger duties on the LMS. The Coronation Class were an enlarged version of the Princess Royal Class, also built by the LMS. Several of the Coronation classes were originally built with streamlining. Later, however, into their running on the LMS, they were redesigned with no streamlining. The non-streamlined Coronations were often referred to as the Duchess class, though the engine men called them the Big Lizzies. <laughs> the Coronation class were the most powerful passenger steam locomotives ever built for the LMS. They were estimated to have around... 3,300 horsepower, which made them far more powerful than the diesel locomotives which replaced them. All of the Coronation classes were built at Crew Works. In total, they produced 38 Coronation classes, but out of the 38, only three of these beautiful beasts of a locomotive were preserved, and only one of the three has been streamlined. LMS Coronation class number 6233 Dutch Sutherland is one of the three examples preserved. She was built at Crew Works in 1938. <laughs> she remained in service until she was withdrawn from service from, with British Railways in 1964. Following her withdrawal from services, Duchess of Sutherland was acquired by Butlins in Scotland to go on display there in the Holiday Park in 1964. She was later then bought by Bresingham Steam Museum in Norfolk, and she was put on display there. Then in 1996, Duchess of Sutherland was acquired by the Princess Royal Locomotive Trust. She arrived at the Princess Royal Locomotive Trust work West Shed at Swanwick Junction on the Midland Railway Butterley on the 3rd of February 1996. Swanwick? Swanwick. You said Swanwick. Okay, okay. In 2001, Duchess of Sutherland returned to mainline traffic after an overhaul assisted by the Heritage Lottery Fund for her to run on the main line in preservation. She was fitted with trade protection and warning system and an on-train monitoring recorder equipment, along with the BR-fitted automatic warning system. On the 6th of March 2010, Duchess of Sutherland rolled out the works in LMS Line Black Livery, which was retained during the 2010 season and after a time on the main line she was taken out of service for the 2011 for a major overhaul. On 3rd of March 2012 she was numbered 46233 and in authentic Brunswick Green livery as used by British Railways since the early 1950s. She rolled out of the works at the Midland Railway, Butterley, after a major overhaul. Since then she has been on numerous main line tours and occasional visits to preservation lines around the UK. So, Matthew, um, what do you think of the Duchess? Um, I think it's alright. Um, I don't really hear a lot about LMS in this region. Um, a lot, you know, it's kind of more southern Great Western and LNER because they're, they're the most famous ones. But from what I've seen, yeah, it's alright. What about you? I like it. It's one of the few LMS engines that I do like. I think it's a beautiful looking engine. I prefer it to any other of the Pacifics they've got there. I think it's a stunning engine. I've only seen it once. I would like to have gotten a footplate of her. But I think she's a stunning engine and I hope to see her around soon. But what livery do you like her in? Because she's been in the crimson, the, uh, the green, green and, the, and black. the black. Which one do you like in? I like the green and the black. Because the red is kind of a traditional LMS, you yeah. know, the generic thing. But um, but I think the lime black or the green kind of adds a bit of variety. And mm. and the, the, the particular what's it, well, the shades yeah. they used are yeah. quite nice colours, you know, in their own right. So mm. 
Yeah, I'd, I'd say none of them looked bad. I just think that the red one is kind of a bit too similar to the others. A bit too generic. Yeah, to make it look as special in that livery as the others. Mm. I think um, I, I like the green. I've always liked the Brunswick green. And I think most engines look better in Brunswick green than in, than their generic colours, to be honest. The black was quite nice, but I couldn't get them around it. I preferred it to the red. But I just it just looked weird with the lining in certain places looked odd, but it's grey engine don't mind it as long as it's in service I'm happy. Fair enough. So that's all from me today. And that's all from me yesterday. <laughs> uh, bye bye guys. Bye bye.